Cowabunga, my dudes. That's what the young kids say, right? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Now you may be wondering why on earth I went and saw this. A buddy of mine was going to see it with his kids and he invited me. So I was like, okay, sure. I will admit I am not the most adverse or in knowledge of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe. No reason against the show. I just never was there for watching any of the products. I think I watched one of the Fox Kids animated shows when I was younger, but just, I don't know, just never came across and never was a big fan of it. Not that I didn't like it, I just, I don't know, it just didn't appease to me. But I will not deny the absolute amazing hole that this IP has had for generations. One of my cousin's kids is probably one of the biggest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans I've ever seen. If he hasn't seen this movie already, I wouldn't be surprised. It's just such a legendary IP, and it just keeps coming back every every year. It just constantly finds a way to stay relevant and stay in the minds of children and teenagers and uh, overly aged teenagers. Uh, there's a video game right now being based on The Last Ronin that I'm actually quite interested in because I know the cliff notes of that story and that sounds like a dark story. So I'm very interested in that. But the movie itself, uh, first off, I will say, I really like the animation style. Ever since Into the Spider-Verse came out, it's really opened up that avenue for animation studios to just try something that's different from say the CG sort of animation stories that we've been getting from Disney and Pixar and whatnot for the last while. Into the Spider-Verse is very much about its color and about its character design. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is very much about the shadows and the lighting and the physical aspects of the characters. There are moments where it kind of goes back and forth between looking like it's something out of a sketchbook and sometimes out of a claymation. Oh, some of the characters move 24 frames, 22 frames per second. And there were moments where I honestly thought, is that actually claymation? Is that actually hand-drawn? Is that actually CG? It was such a cool blend that it was the thing that was holding me most to the movie. Because I'll be honest, the story's kind of in. Eh. I enjoyed this movie for a whoop at my ear and what, yeah, in one ear and out the other. I think that kids will enjoy this too, because the story is quite simple. It's another origin story about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles becoming who they are, wanting to fight crime, figuring out how to become a part of the society that hates them, and all the while making friends along the way. And yeah, it's an enjoyable thing. I think the music choice is both a mixture of new and a lot of old. Like there are some references in here that adults will get. Um, not so much on the subtlety level of say the Toy Story movies, but it's there. It, it, like I think parents will be, like get a chuckle. I had a couple of chuckles. Um, I do know that it does change the origins of a lot of the characters. Um, some for the better, some for the worst. I know some people don't like this and I can't uh, express my opinion on that because like I said, I just don't know that much about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I do know that some people have said that they don't like the changes with the Turtles origins. Instead of learning Kung Fu through lessons, they just watch YouTube videos and whatnot. And I can say, yeah, that's some lazy writing a little bit, but I do fi find that's kind of relevant in terms of current day audiences, but you know, be as you are and then the actual story it was okay like i thought it was a enjoyable thing but for an hour and 40 minutes there was a part where i was like okay let's wrap it up let's wrap it up uh, i think the humor is pretty decent i like the voice acting from pretty much everyone um there's a lot of people who are in this movie who i did not know they were in this movie um, maybe to the point where it's a little bit too much. Like, there's a lot of uh, additional side characters that Superfly, the bad guy the movie has, that are there to be funny and to be a one-note character. And, like I said, there's some of those people who are being voiced by people like the, f the freaking Gecko guy is being voiced by Paul Rudd, and I did not know that until the movie was over. Um, I enjoy the art style, first and foremost. That is my biggest compliment about this movie. I think that the story, while kind of eh, is at least something passable, but if not, maybe just a little bit forgettable. I wanted to wait a couple of days to see if I could remember this movie, and I don't remember a lot of this movie. I can't even remember the jokes that I laughed at. I, I remember the circumstances about eating. One of them was about Master Splinter making a friend with a cro cockroach, and 
someone stepped on the cockroach and he ate him. And I thought that was funny, but that was in the first like five minutes of the movie. I understand first and foremost, this movie is not for me. It's not for me, it's made for kids. So if I were going to rate it for kids, I don't know, like a four out of seven. But for me personally, I'm gonna give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem a three out of seven. It doesn't mean that it's bad. I've given some movies that I enjoy a three out of seven before. I just feel that the memorability of this movie or just the the lasting effect is fleeting. It is leaving my brain as we talk about it right now. Those are my thoughts about this movie. What did you think about it? Did you guys take your kids to it? What did they think about it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, cowbungas. God, I sound so old saying that.